Good morning everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel Leap Classes. I am Anjali. Children, today we will do few examples of conversion of one type of loop to another type of loop. When we say loop, what do you mean by loop? For which purpose it is used? Yes, you are right. Loops are used to repeat a set of statements again and again and again till we specify a condition, till that condition is true. So when you want to execute a set of statements many times, repeatedly, then we use the looping statements. And children, in your syllabus or in Java, we have for loop, while loop and do while loop. Now, these type of conversion questions are asked in exams. Right, children? Now, first, let me tell you when we categorize loop, it can be categorized into two types, fixed number of iterations and unfixed number of iterations. What do you mean by fixed number? Jab humko pata ho ki ye loop humko kitni bar execute karna hai before starting the loop only. Usko hum bolte hai fixed number. But unfixed loop mein jane ke baad we check a condition ki agar ye condition sahi hai to phir dobara execute karo nahi to nahi karo. Right? Usme koi fixed number nahi hoga. Now in fixed also we have two types. Entry controlled loops and exit controlled loops. Exit controlled and entry controlled. Right? And the same thing is there in unfixed also. Here also you have entry controlled and exit controlled. Now what entry or exit control ka kya matlab hai? Entry control ka matlab hai loop ki body ke andar jate time. Loop ko start karne se pehle hi wo condition ko check kar lega. Agar at the time of entry, entry ke time ki check karega. Loop may enter hone time check karega. Agar wo condition true hoti hai, then it will enter into the loop. Otherwise, it will not execute the body of the loop. Right? And exit control ka matlab hota hai ki while exiting from the loop, loop se bahar nikalte time, loop ki body ko chhodte time, then there it will check if the condition is true, then only the next time the loop body will be executed, otherwise not. Right? Now, fixed may entry control may ajayega aapka for loop or while loop and exit control may ajayega do while loop. Right children? Now here in unfixed we have while loop and Exit control, we have do while loop. Now, if you see here, I have written for fixed for while do while. Is ka matlab jab humko pata hai ki kitni baar humko ye statements execute karne hai, us case mein hum for bhi use kar sakte hai, while bhi use kar sakte hai, do while bhi use kar sakte hai. But for unfixed, ke baar hum while and do while loops use kar sakte hai. So children, this is just the introduction to the loops, how many types of loops are there. Because these type of questions are asked in section A. Now we will proceed for the conversion questions. Children, here I have written one for loop. Just a very simple example. And here I want to tell you that when the question is asked to convert the following for loop into while or while into do while or while into for. Please don't write the entire program. Only the program segment is given. Only you have to convert that part into the conversion part, right? You don't start please writing from class, main, import. Please don't write anything like that. Now, here when we talk about for loop, the first part is initialization, right? And then the second part is your test condition. This is your test condition. And the third part is update expression. Now children, the easiest way I am telling you is ko yaad rakho ye number 1 hai, ye number 2 hai, ye number 3 hai. First pe kya hota hai? Initialization, second pe test condition and third pe update expression. Ab jham isko while or do while mein humko convert karna hai. Exam mein kewal ek hi type ka aega ki for ko while mein karo ya while ko for mein karo. Right? To sab se pehle hum dekhenge ki for ko while mein or do while mein kaise karenge. Now initialization. While we convert karte hai, to initialization is done before the body of the loop. 
तो आई एन टी आई इक्वल टू फाइव इसको बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द लूप ओनली यू विल राइट लाइक दिस देन वाइल के साथ यू विल राइट द कंडीशन वाइल के साथ ब्रैकेट में कंडीशन लिखोगे कंडीशन क्या है आई लेस देन इक्वल्स टू ट्वेंटी आई लेस देन इक्वल्स टू ट्वेंटी दिस इज द कंडीशन प्लीज डोंट पुट एनी सेमी कॉलन ओवर हियर मेनी चिल्ड्रन आफ्टर वाइल दे पुट द सेमी कॉलन हियर राइट एंड देन यू स्टार्ट द बॉडी ऑफ द लूप बॉडी ऑफ द लूप में क्या लिखोगे जो इसके अंदर है विद इन द पेयर ऑफ कर्ली ब्रेसेस वॉट एवर इज देयर अगर एक स्टेटमेंट है तो कर्ली ब्रेसेस आर ऑप्शनल राइट बट वाइल में हमको देना पड़ेगा क्योंकि हमको एटलीस्ट टू स्टेटमेंट्स मिनिमम वहां पे लिखने होंगे इन मोस्ट ऑफ द केसेस राइट सो अब इसमें हम क्या लिखेंगे सिस्टम डॉट आउट डॉट प्रिंट एल इन वॉट एवर इज रिटर्न इन द क्वेश्चन एग्जैक्टली सेम थिंग यू वर राइट एनी एक्सप्रेशन एनी कैलकुलेशन एनी थिंग वॉट एवर इज रिटर्न विद इन दिस बॉडी यू हैव टू राइट हेयर आफ्टर दिस क्या करोगे इसका अपडेट एक्सप्रेशन बिफोर क्लोजिंग द वाइल लूप यू विल राइट द अपडेट एक्सप्रेशन आई इक्वल्स टू आई प्लस फाइव लाइक इन दिस केस ना चलो आई टोल्ड यू वन टू थ्री याद रखोगे यहां पर क्या होगा वन टू थ्री यहां पर होगा सो प्लीज चेक फर्स्ट वाला बिफोर द लूप सेकेंड विद वाइल एंड थर्ड इज बिफोर क्लोजिंग ऑफ दिस Now let me write for do while also. In do while also, exactly like while, the initialization is given before starting of the do while loop. So this, and then you start the loop do or do the body of the loop. Body me kya hai? Only if one statement is there, you will write here that statement system dot out dot print l in i. and update expression will be given inside the loop i equals to i plus 5 and here children what you have to write while while ke sath condition denge while i is less than equals to 20 and put a semicolon over here now if this while no semicolon in do while after the closing bracket after the condition you have to put semicolon now if you notice here this is one the initialization is one then test condition is here and this is here so 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 3 always remember this right now a few more examples and i hope all of you will be able to do and please don't forget to check the pdf link in the description box for some practice questions and along with that please check the videos of iterative statements iterative constructs the link of all the topics is given in the description box the next example i have written here the for loop you have to convert this into while and do while children i am converting it for you using while loop and i want that you convert this using do while loop and post your answers in the comment section now here if you see int abc A equals to five, B equals to ten, and here yeah, for C equals to one, C less than equals to ten. So in this for loop, C is the control variable, right? So what else is given here? You will write exactly same. I N T A comma B comma C. A equals to five, B equals to ten, and here yeah, C equals to one. What I told you, this is number one. So this has to be given before the loop. So here you will be writing c equals to one. C equals to one कहाँ देंगे? While शुरू होने से पहले. और while के साथ हम क्या देंगे? Condition देंगे. Condition क्या है? This is number two. So condition will be c less than equals to ten. And then you start the body of the loop. Children, without thinking anything, whatever is written here, you write here. You don't have to see whether it is correct or not correct. Well, calculation it is doing nothing. Just you have to convert for into while or do while. So the body will be written as it is. So here you will copy this only system dot out dot print l a plus b plus c and if c modulus two is equals to zero. 
a plus plus b plus plus close this now after closing of this if for is closed but what i told you number 3 will be before closing of the loop so you will write here c plus equals to 3 so here 1 2 3 here 1 2 and 3 very simple and what i want do while conversion in the comment section right children one example for while to for loop int abc a b c values are given while condition is given and the body of the loop is given now in for in for initialization test condition and update expressions are given together with for and first what we have to check which is the control variable because here three variables are declared right so here the control variable is c so what we have to do here we have to write int a comma b comma c here a equals to 2 b equals to 4 and with 4 here you will write c equals to 7. Initialization we have given here. Then test condition is here. So here you will write c less than equals to 15. And what is the update expression? c plus equals to 2. So c plus equals to 2. And then write the entire body of the loop except the update expression. इस expression को छोड़ के बाकी जितने भी statements है as it is you will write in this for also. So here you will write system dot out dot print ln a plus b and system dot out dot print ln c. Children again I am repeating please don't write the entire program in class which we nahi likho ke. Now children here in place of this I can write like this also for a equals to 2, b equals to 4, c equals to 7. Yaha pe separated by comma and then c less than equals to 15, c plus equals to 2 like this. So initialization hum ek se jada variables ka bhi kar sakte in for loop. But when you are converting, please check control variable kaun sa hai and condition kis variable pe de rahe ho, according to that only you will be doing, right? So this is your 1, this is 2, this is 3. So yaha par kaise aayega? 1, 2, 3. Very simple, right? So for today, this much only. Please do check the description box for the PDF link of Practice questions for conversion of looping construct and definitely if you haven't subscribed the channel till now Please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you get the notifications for all the videos and no important topic is missed by you You may join us on our telegram channel also the link is there in the description box Keep practicing keep working hard do perfect practice. God bless you children